So I'm learning a lot right now about how the media helped cover up, cover up for Bill Clinton, uh, you know, yeah. back during his impeachment and completely, I mean, really, truly uh, created almost like a, a strategy plan of how to spin the story to protect him. Right. And it's, it's kind of outrageous, you know, the lengths to which they will go if they want to see somebody protected to avoid and evade telling the news. I mean, Epstein, you know, we see this time and time again. If they don't want you to know certain things, they just won't tell it. Meanwhile, they're out, you know, digging through the dirt and uh, digging through Trump's trash can, trying to find anything that they can put out, you know, to, to spin it in a, neg a negative context. Yes, and I think we covered that a little bit last week when Chris Murphy met with the foreign minister of Iran in a secret meeting in Germany that he didn't want to expose to anybody. And I typed those words into CNN's search bar. They have no article about it. They had no article. And I said, the mainstream media, if, if they cover it at all, it's going to be positive for any of these stories, for mm -hmm. the people that they like and they're very much in favor of the Iran nuclear deal pushing that and so I think this kind of plays into what you're saying as well have you found that to be true absolutely found it to be true and it doesn't just pertain to the people running for office it doesn't just pertain to the people at the top it's even the ways in which they portray Trump supporters citizens everyday citizens like us I heard a story yesterday from somebody who somehow I miss well not somehow because the media doesn't cover it that's how <laughs> But somebody was telling me that she is connected with a Republican organization in Florida. They had a, a Trump table, you know, out there trying to register. We people. covered this. We had an episode on this. The booth. Yes. So, so uh, a guy drove a car into the booth, tried to kill a bunch of people, basically. Elderly people yeah. trying to register people to vote. And the media had nothing to say about it. Meanwhile, uh, you know, some nutbag uh, in Charlottesville drives this car, you know, and that's all they, like, oh, this is typical, you know, Trump unleashed this, and this is what Trump supporters do, and, you know, but this guy legitimately was trying to run in over and kill some elderly people who support the president. The media is radio silent.